Hello and welcome back to the last spell. There was one thing I forgot to do, which, which is uh, to spend our Tainted Essence. Welcome. What, what use do you have for the Tainted Essence? I feed, I savor, I devour. What is useless to a mere human like you is a nectar to my lips. Will you sell your Tainted Essence to me? Uh, I think, um, attributes have a greater chance to be rare during hero level up. Yeah, I think that would just be better. I have to assume that's just going to be what we want. Items have a greater chance to be uncommon would, would also be good, but, you know, let's, uh, let's, let's save up for the more valuable one. So in that case, we're not going to spend any essence and we're just going to roll um wish me luck on this close the doors why are they so far over there okay um this should be okay i should be uh, i should be all right maybe hopefully um let's Start by doing a hammer of faith here. Wow, that really didn't do what I wanted it to do at all. We can do another hammer of faith. I really wanted it to hit the Lancer. It did stun the Lancer, so I can be grateful for that. And we'll hit them again. Oh, that killed them, actually. I didn't mean to kill them. All right, let's... Um, Is there a good... If I could move, let's uh, let's actually use this to to move out a little bit because I think there's a really good rain of arrows here. Um, there is another lancer here, but I think we can take care of it. I kind of want to move Florian over. Um, let's see what we can do though with our crossbow person. They can hit these two guys, build up a little bit of damage there actually oh they've got a really good shot i just seen it i seen it actually let's undo that because we want to reserve as much movement as possible right there look at that look at that that's so good ha and they they didn't kill the lancer but damaging them and wounding them is good enough and uh the important thing is that they built up quite a bit of damage from that and i'm gonna move them um closer to this zone over here uh, and we're gonna start to do what we do best with our crossbow person um okay let's uh, start with just something basic and actually we'll move over a little bit i don't expect the crossbow person to reach all the way over there so why don't we go ahead and just like move him here we'll, we'll we'll dedicate a couple of shots for this guy but the important part is that we are going to be hitting these guys over here i just realized we don't have um contagion okay i wonder if i if i move my druid over here can they re no they can't reach that zone over there better not to move them like that ah oh, actually if they destroy this little problem there then they might might help a little bit still no but uh yeah it's it's fine so the important part is that we're gonna be able to oh god look at all the crap in our way it's the only thing we can reach is this guy um okay now our i won't lie thomas has a different motivation like a, a motivation that kind of counter um, co um, conflicts with Albrex because he's trying to split people up for our, for Keon, but Albrecht wants people to be grouped up. So that's going to make things a little bit uh, difficult. So we'll have to, I'll have to be a bit careful about that, but uh, I think it'll be okay. So we should be able to kill a number of people over here. We should be able to kill everyone actually. 
a rare sighting is uh the spear actually doing good work i shouldn't say that the spear is probably really good i'm just like very resistant to uh trying new things i, I, I suppose so i guess we can't really do much we can poison a couple of lads but outside of that oh you know what we've got a blaze we could do blaze yeah there we go that's that's pretty good doesn't need to be better than that all right so we'll have thomas over here um albrecht i mean albrecht can do some damage to these guys for sure Wow, that did not do nearly as much damage as I was hoping for. You know what I should have done is an acid spray. Acid spray means that they, they're going to have no armor and less dodge. So uh, that will hopefully do a bit more against this guy. I just want to like do... There we go. Just wounding him is, is good. I should have used my contagions and I did not. And I always forget to do that. It's only 2% opportunism, but it, it can make a difference. All right, so let's see how things develop. Oh God, our, I didn't expect our crossbowmen to, to have like stuff over there. As long as it's nothing too beefy. Oh, he took damage. Like actual damage, not, not like armor. Okay, well, we've got a very comfortable group up over there. Um, and actually things are pretty okay for a crossbow person too. Go ahead and just do some work. That's some good shots there. Some genuinely good stuff. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and poison this entire group. Too easy. Well, I, I mean, the problem though is that it split the Lancer up from the rest of the party. Let's go ahead and poison uh oh you know what we don't want to do that whoops daisy let's move this guy just a notch away so that we can poison this group without worrying about poisoning our friend okay that's pretty good and you know what i, I think a, doing a entangle over there is going to be really nice because it's going to stop that whole group that whole side from moving and we want to see if we can't do a bit of damage actually let's just do like one shot there two shots there or three shots actually perfect the poison will kill them and we still get to have our initiator bonus okay well you can't keep the initiator bonus forever so i'm actually really happy with what we got to got to keep i didn't realize that the this Guardian over here was going to have so much resistance. He's got... He's actually got no resistance. He's got 12 resistance. Um, but yeah, let's let's try and get rid of that right away. Because um, they're going to do the most help. Oh, you know what? I just realized I entangled that group for very good effect. And then I went ahead and, and ruined it. I do that, don't I? That's fine. We're killing stuff, and, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm happy with that. Let's uh, just kind of keep things over here. Um, we, have, we still have some action points with our crossbow person, so we can move them up. Actually, here is perfect because they have less chance. There's less chance of them getting hit. So let's just gonna continue to raise their damage. They're at 40 damage now, so that's pretty good. Um, all right, so we're back to over here, and I think that stuff is actually looking really good here. Oh, what do you mean, miss? What do you mean, miss? Three times miss? They've got an 8% dodge, my dude. They've got an 8% dodge. You need to go back to school. Four times miss. Four times miss. My dude. What the hell, dude? What the hell? 8% dodge. 
this absolute lad managed to dodge four attacks in a row well they didn't dodge that <laughs> you know trinity.gif Wow, that was that that is quite the thing to see, honestly. Uh, I've kind of tempted to move our spear over. I think that scepter can can just kind of do it. All oh, right, I forgot we need movement to do that. Well, what about scepter? Maybe scepter could go over there. Why not? Have them uh, kind of help cover things up over here. And uh, we'll move our, our spear back just a little bit to ensure safety. Um, the night is not even half over. So things could get very ugly very quickly. That was nice. All right, that's fine. Uh, they gave that one guy 100 110 health. That's that's totally fine. I'm I'm liking this triple strike here. Is this triple swipe? I think would actually be really good. But we need to make sure we cover as much as possible. So why don't we go ahead and um, I'm not sure. Maybe this way would actually be better. That does look pretty good. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, that was that was really nice. We still get to keep our momentum, so let's go ahead and use it on... Actually, you know what? It might be better... To use our... You know, like, I'm just seeing... Um, those those moves do... Yeah, that was so much better. Those, do, those moves use two action points each. So, um, rather than do, like, one action for two... Like, kill one guy for two action points kill three guys for two action points is much better much better value we could use our potion of energy and you know what we should i'm gonna try and stun this guy we did actually manage to stun him amazing this uh this guy mvp mvp did a great job um now we do want to have some, uh, I'm not sure what, you know what we're going to do? What we're going to do is we're going to use our druid first. We'll see who is remaining and then we'll gauge who, like what we want to do with our crossbow person. Oh, that was a bad poison. That was a bad, bad poison. I did not care for that poison. All right, let's entangle that group. And actually, I might get them to try and oh wow, this oh that's a, that's a lancer, right? So they're 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 not going to take a lot of damage. Um, we could poison them, and I guess we can try it. We could contagion a couple of these poison lads. Did I misclick? I did. I meant to contagion this guy. Okay. You know what? Let's just go ahead and uh, poison that lad. And that way, that's that's no longer a bad, a horrible mistake. Let's uh, use our death ray here. Not a bad death ray. Um, uh, never mind. That was a horrible death ray. <laughs> we'll use a blaze. Oh man, this stuff is just like not doing very much damage. Okay. Uh, we do do pretty good damage do do we do do pretty good damage through armor so we should actually be able to shut down the lancers pretty well i just want to separate a couple lads for our crossbow person i am actually feeling very optimistic about this side i won't lie Um, I'm looking at this side over here and I feel like I should do something about it I'm thinking we could use our scepter uh, person to separate a couple of these lads And then um, just go ahead go ham with you know, mr. Crossbow 
Is this person on their own? It's kind of hard to tell. I think they are. Yes. Okay, and now we can move over here. And um, we might be able to kill this Lancer with just a basic attack. Yes, we're, we're at that stage. Um, and actually, I think this would be a good use of the Fire Strike. We lose a little bit of damage on one, but we should have gained more than enough to cover it on the other two. Not sure if they did, but, well, you know, it is what it is. Let's uh, actually come back over here and uh, we'll have uh, we'll have the scepter person cover this side. And uh, do we have anything? No, we're out of action points. Joanna still has some, but it doesn't have anything to do with it. We'll 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 brace them, I guess. Do they have that one perk? No, they don't. Okay, so let's just go ahead and let them do their thing. The night is yet to get truly ugly yet. But I, I think I've I've got a handle on things. Like for sure things could get ugly still. They could get oh there's an, a new elite over there. He can move through units. Does he gain like a second movement point? Let's go ahead and poison him right away. That was a good poison. Although the elite armored um, really kind of took it on the chin. Let's uh, entangle that group. And I'm probably like going to focus a little bit on some of these Lancers. Ugh. Just like let the poison kill them. Perfect. Okay, we still need to dedicate a little bit of damage to this guy over here. We could like do a couple. Oh wow, he's he really is taking uh, quite a quite the beating. Why don't we did like one poison on him? There we go. Just to, means that we don't end up killing them. We get to keep our initiator bonus. And, um, but we know that they're dead and that's the important part. Um, there is a Lancer over here. Can we reach them? No. And I've made the mistake of ending my movement. Hold on. Can, oh, there's the blockers in the way. That's why. Um, do we have any, we can, let's kill this one blocker here. Should have done the other one. I was thinking that I was thinking, oh, you know what? I should do the other one because I'm guaranteed to kill the other one, but I'm not guaranteed to kill the one in front and that yeah, that sucks So what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna poison this lad And then I'm gonna contagion them and at the very least then they'll spread the contagion to the Lancer hopefully Yeah, I figured we weren't going to be able to keep that streak up forever, but I'm pretty content with with uh, how well we did. Now I'm going to move over here with our um, scepter lad and try and get a good hammer of faith. That was a very good hammer of faith. Holy crap, that was amazing! And then and then they missed. Yo, we need you to get some more accuracy, dude. You are just like not cutting it. And those misses kill our momentum, by the way. So it's like extra bad. It's extra bad to, to miss when, especially when you've spent movement points trying to, to, to build up the momentum. Oh man. Okay. Let's see what we can do with, um, triple strike. I'd like to get include the lancer here that's awful all of that is awful what if we did something like this that's not bad but that we do use up all of our movement by doing that 
So why don't we not do that, I guess? How about we just do a flurry of strikes on a couple of these guys? Yeah, that's not bad. I wish that this, um, I wish that their moves had a little bit more range. Oh, there we go. That's actually great. Perfect. And we can still do a triple sw swipe right here. Amazing. Oh, that was so good. That just made, that just made me feel all warm and fuzzy. That was like the best turn ever for our, uh, uh, Spearman. That, that's actually kind of winning me over on the spear. Spear is actually starting to feel pretty not terrible. Now, I haven't really done a good job splitting anyone up for our crossbow person. They have a couple of people to kill for sure. Um, might actually be a not terrible idea to have them move. They have six movement. They could just barely get... Eh, I don't think it's worth it. I wonder if they, if they just moved like here, could they reach someone? They could reach that guy. I don't know if that's worth it, but you know, whatever. Okay. A bunch of lads just died of poison. There's another elite on the left side there. Ballistas are doing a good job. They're doing exactly what you want to do, which is to, to kind of push things back a little bit. Okay, um, so let's do this, uh, let's do this first, because I'm a little bit concerned about what I'm seeing over here. That's not really what you wanted to see. Um, I know this guy's got a 50% resistance to stun. That doesn't mean it's impossible, though, and we did stun them. So now what I want to do is, we have nine movement. We're going to move four away and four back, and you just, you better not miss. I swear to God, if you miss this, you're fired. We hit them, but it just didn't do as much as you'd hope. So you know what? Let's, um, we're going to take some damage. And now we have seven movement. We're going to move three away and three back. And this will hit harder because the, it's the armor takes more damage than health. Smacko, that was not really it. That was not what you wanted to see. Oh boy. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let's go ahead and do uh, over here. Um, I feel like we have a good opportunity for like a trip. Mm, that's not not really it, is it? What if we did like this? It's not terrible. And then we'll move forward and then use this. Oh, that's good. Oh, that was that was great. That was wonderful. Fantastic. We are kind of going through his mana though. We do we do need to consider giving him some more mana in the next turn. Um, crossbow person might be worth. Actually, you've got some good targets on that left side there. Um, let's go ahead and have you. Yeah. Just kill a Lancer with one attack. That's great. You can kill this lad here. Is it really worth it though? Yeah, I guess so. I, I did it, so it must have been worth it. Um, let's poison this group on the right side here. I'm just, oh, I was really hoping it would go the other way. Swing the other way. It did not swing. Now I have to, well, let's, let's contagion these guys up. And I guess instead of just damaging them, I'm going to go ahead and slow them down. Um, now if I kill these three lads, then the crossbow person has something else to shoot at. Nice. Okay. Crossbow person. Wow. I was not expecting them. Oh, I guess they don't have the lone wolf anymore. Let's see if we can't give them that lone wolf perk back. 
There we go. Uh, I guess we don't want to do that, though, because they don't have a lot of movement left. Um, oh, okay. Hmm. I guess the best we can really do is this. Well, no, we've got a, we've got an explosive bolt. This is a great explosive bolt. There we go. Perfect. There is hope after all. Everything will be all right soon. Uh, no, Thomas. Thomas, you've actually got tons of stuff left to do. Let's just have you kill a couple of lads over here that are not poisoned. We're almost done with the night. In fact, I think we're already on our last wave. I'll just let the rest of those guys kill. Oh, that guy wasn't poisoned? Oh, God. The fact that there was a Lancer in the last, like, little swarm of dudes there kind of sucks, the big one. Just kill... Oh, wait, that there was a dude there, so I, I cost myself some damage. It's fine. We're going to come over here and absolutely destroy this lad. Oh, it didn't kill him, but it almost did. Let's just do an explosive bolt to finish him off and the Lancer. Amazing. Well, we kind of robbed our scepter, dude, but that's fine. I'm fine with that. And um, I kind of just want to, like, use normal attacks with our druid. To kill a couple of dudes, because you want to make sure that everyone's getting some kills, not just the crossbow person. Florian did not level up. He got very close, though. Things are, are looking pretty good, though, I will say. S. We didn't take any damage. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is where things get... Could potentially get nasty. Uh, we are definitely going to want another champion. So I'm going to go ahead. Before I do anything else, I'm going to buy a champion. Uh, or sorry, I guess we're not going to buy a champion. We're going to upgrade the inn so that we can get another champion. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Uh, second thing we're going to do is we're going to turn all of these uh, elite corpses into money and materials. Then we're going to assess our health situation. Our health is actually great. I'm feeling very good right now. This, uh, this town has a very rough beginning, but once you get established, and that's why I put all of my resources into ramping as hard as possible, um, then, uh, you know, things, things get a little bit easier. Now, we are going to have to dedicate a, a worker to mana. I think we're actually okay for mana, and Albrecht is still at over two-thirds, so I think that that's the only person I'm kind of concerned of for mana. Scepter per, uh, Spearman did use mana, but we recovered all of it. I think they have pretty good uh, mana regen. Yeah, plus 11. That's not bad. And then they get a lot back from our, our mana well. Um, so that's pretty good. We could dedicate a little bit of money towards a second mana well. We'll, we'll think about that. Um, but I'm going to put two workers towards materials. We're going to look at our seer before I spend any more money. And yeah, I think it is worth pushing back the mist again. It just, it just helps a lot. Being able to see things and assess the, the, you know, how dangerous things are and then react to it, uh, in time is, it's so important, you know? So that means we have three workers left. Uh, let's buy a champion before we spend any more workers. Where is our thing? Well, I don't know why the shop looks... Oh, wait, that's the shop. Okay, here's the inn. Uh, let's look at the most expensive one. We've got a, cro uh, a, a bow and arrow person. That wouldn't be a terrible um, idea, honestly. They have Fletcher, 
which is good for them. Lucky, which is also good for them. They've got very good critical. Less healing received. I love them. I love them. Let's let's grab them. So they might not be synergizing too much with da with uh, poison, but um, I'm not going to make them a lone wolf. Actually, I'll, I'll probably make them a lone wolf, but I'm not going to make them an isolation person because, uh, you know, they actually have some pretty good uh, poison stuff. But uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll figure it out. They've got uh, their steady aim. We could probably just go, you know, go hard on steady aim. Every two enemies hit next. You know what? Vision would be really good. <laughs> I don't know why I'm leveling them up now. I may as well. Uh, let's give them XP from uh, ballistas. I'm not going to give them back protection because it tends to be that the ranged people don't like use that. As long as they didn't move, they get more skill range. Okay, so we want them to not move. Uh, skill, less skill range, I guess, is okay. So they have to, we're really like going hard on not moving. Um, skills now cost health. I don't like that. Uh, mana. Could give them mana. Uh, the, the bow and arrow person tends to be a mana hog. Every 10% of missing mana. Plus 4% critical. That sounds great, actually, for them. And then the next one we'll do a field study. Um, might go hard on exploit weakness, but not for the isolation, for the opportunism. 100% of the heroes resistance reduction. If we can get them some redu resistance reduction, that would be great. Uh, I actually think giving them more mana wouldn't be a terrible idea. Although, that does mean that they have to spend more mana in order to get that critical, so maybe we won't do that. So instead, let's just give them health. Oh, you know what? Critical is right there. Yeah, let's go hard on critical. I know it wasn't a rare, but you know what? Sometimes sometimes you, you have to not. What we really want is resi resistance reduction. We have, we're getting like resistance and dodge and stuff like that. We'll give them dodge. I'm pretty sure, okay, there's resistance reduction. We want more of those. Oh, extra action points is going to be good. Opportunism is probably going to be pretty good. Daily health regen. Eh. Range. Let's re-roll these. Let's re-roll these. Sure, reliability. Sometimes you just have to, you know, take what you get. Range damage, sure. Skill range. There we go. Would love to see resistance reduction, but I don't think that that's uh, on the table anymore. Reliability, sure. Reliability is just such a lame stat, if I'm being honest. I, I think that it's just like not very interesting or compelling at all. Because like, what are you offering? What? It, oh, so basically their, their range of damage, like how much potential damage they do is narrowed towards the high end right so they your damage is usually like this is how much they can do uh at their worst and their best and then reliability means that they're skewed towards higher damage which is fine i think that's fine but i just think that it's it's uh i don't know like i'd almost rather you give me a stat that increases their potential damage even if it doesn't like you know, I don't know. I, I just think it's kind of lame. I think it's a very not interesting stat. Um, a prowess has been accomplished. This is good. It's probably a basic one. Not, nothing like, uh, nothing major. Rejoice, O Earth and Sea, for I have come with gifts in hand. You're actually living in my mind. That is one way to see it. We are in an orb of our own, born from the hidden depths of our conjoined souls, but as real as any other. It is not a place of, as thou may know it. Thus, a place it is, far from the clash of the battlefield, a haven of the higher sort. Buy our craft, 30 trinkets. Heroes start with trinkets equipped. It's kind of neat. All right, now we should be able to do... Oh, why didn't I do this right away, actually? dumb attributes have a greater chance to be rare and uh 
I mean, we can like start throwing points at something. I, I, yet another, I think, UI complaint in this game is you can throw Tainted Essence at something without unlocking it, and that Tainted Essence is just gone. And there's no way to get it back, and there's no way to undo that. It's like, come on, bud. That's really, like, if you don't know what you're doing, you can accidentally just kind of throw away your points. Um... Okay, so I don't think accuracy is so good for Al Albrecht. There's some good stuff here. I guess I'll just take damage. But, oh, poison damage. Perfect. And it's rare. Amazing. Oh, that was such a... That's that's so good. Kind of astounded that I haven't taken more of this poison line with uh, Albrecht. When applying poison to a unit, also apply a contagion. That's going to be amazing for them. I know poison, like, there's other poison stats, but these ones aren't actually very good for Albrecht. Unless things are going very badly, because if Poisonous is actually doing its thing, that means we're too far into the pile of enemies, you know, and Toxic Leech. Uh, hopefully Albrecht is taking zero damage, so we shouldn't need him to, to regain any of that back. Uh, we definitely want to think about Specialist, although we don't care so much about damage. The poison damage is what we care about and it is some for some reason a completely separate stat um all right so let's look at uh keon keon what do you get more mana might be a good idea for you you are spending it a little bit more than i thought uh honestly movement is great is a good one um daily mana regen is whatever isolation damage perfect couldn't couldn't be better and it was rare amazing extra crit damage for you when attacking a unit for each negative alteration of a different type they are affected by the attack gets plus 25 percent critical uh how much crit power do we have not not a lot i'd rather i think i'd rather just take critical master Yeah, Crit Master. Seems like a good one. Legendary Assassin is 100% going to be what we want to take next for Keon. Joanna. Joanna, I am still... I still have questions about you. Not sure what we want to do with you, but, uh, you know. I'm open to the idea. Magic damage, sure. Um... She actually, her having poisonous damage isn't a bad idea. And in fact, I think her having toxic leech would be a good idea. She did, we don't have to care about her like spreading contagion as much um, because there's going to be poison all around her in theory. Um, so we just, we just want her to be able to get that health. We did also want her to have accuracy. Why didn't I give that to her? Oh, well. Um, let's give damage to Thomas. Thomas, Thomas is just like absolutely loving it. Um, grabbing, grabbing that damage left and right and center. You got plus 57% damage. That's kind of insane. Um, making him a human ballista is not a terrible idea. I kind of like that. More passive damage. Although, again, I don't know if that counts towards, uh, like it counts against initiator. I don't think it does. I don't like resupply. I have to think too much about resupply. Um, specialist. Specialist seems like an obvious take. All right, so that's all of our dudes leveled up. Let's go ahead and grab our items. Extra dodge, dodge, and block a staff i don't know about that i actually don't think i've tried staffs yet yeah these don't seem familiar to me um oh this is a armor that offers dodge and movement and accuracy could be good for someone definitely i probably should take that leather hat I, the leather hat is not very good but it's a hat and i tend not you know i don't think that hats can actually be all that good so we have lone wolf armor here which is actually really nice 
Um, yeah, let's take that. That's about as much as you hope for for from uh for armor. Not really get seeing a lot of excitement from the blacksmith. There's a lot of okay. Here we go. Rusty spear. Honestly, still, it's not exciting. Oh, we do want a better bow for our new bow person, don't we? So this does less damage. It does less damage for no benefit, basically. Wow, that's really quite sad, isn't it? We need a better um, bow for literally anyone honestly for for our uh, our new person patience let's give them that bit a better hat and we'll give them better armor unless someone else needs it more keon i think is okay although you know keon if they are taking damage it's like really important that they stay alive imo i just realized that uh, this person could have had an offhand weapon this whole time um so let's give him a sword Do they do, do they have poison damage? Not really. You know what they do. Why don't we give them an offhand druid staff? And that way they can potentially spread some poison themselves. I think that's, that's a good idea. Why not? Uh, yeah, this, uh, let's, uh, let's see if we can get a better bow. Um, why don't we go ahead and check the shop? And there is a bow. It's not the same bow though. This is the long bow and I don't think I like it as much. Let's compare this bow. This bow is, or this crossbow I should say. This is exactly the same, so it's not gonna really do much. We have a Adept's Druid Staff. I would like to buy that actually. We have my magic damage, isolation, not really what we want. I, I want a long, uh, a better normal bow. Oh, that profit veil is very tempting as well, but we have to be careful with our money. Better scepter. <laughs> We're getting everything except what I really want, which is a better bow. We need a better bow. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one more reroll. Still no bow. God damn. Well, we got some woolen pants here. I'm gonna grab these woolen pants because they offer plus two movement. And then I'm just going to, like, not buy anything else. We're going to give that to our scepter user. Actually, let's give it to our spearman. I'm, I'm actually feeling pretty good about our spearman. Yeah, this is, like, quite good for them. Offers three movement points. Wow. Fantastic. Um, Druid, you go ahead and take a better staff. And that means, actually, the scepter person can get the uh, better hand-me-down staff. Yeah, this staff is better. Okay. Um, now, what I'd like to do with the last bit of our money is I want to buy another scavenger's camp. Put it there. I think that's as good as any place, really. And I'd like to upgrade it. Um, I'd like to put, get slightly more gold. We're going to have one more worker because I'd like to upgrade this. Oh, we can't get that. Okay, never mind. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really, I guess it does matter because I, I can't afford. I can't, I have already put my workers towards the other scavenger camp. Uh, all right, so we're not going to get the most out of this, but we'll still get, um, 80, 80 more materials. And we want as many materials as we can get because, uh, you know, things are going pretty well. All right, so now we're building defenses. Um, I think we want to, at the very least, upgrade all of these defenses.
now that we're being hit by something harder on this side uh i think we're fully upgraded over here yeah it looks like which is good oh this one could could be upgraded and um i'd like to build another warp gate and I actually, I wouldn't mind putting a warp gate, like, I don't know. I don't know where a good place would, for this would be. Like, I guess here. I'll keep that one there. I think that that's good enough. And might want to start looking at catapults. Definitely, let's do a couple more cat um, ballistas. Upgrade them. And actually, I think I want to lean harder on traps on this side. Uh, definitely, we need any traps over here because things are not looking super well defended. So let's do something like this. We'll make the most of the space. And uh, let's build a couple over here. That's good. And we'll build a couple over here as well. I'm trying, I'm like, wherever I can put one where uh, it can do the most damage. Oh, you know what? I didn't reserve any for re repairing our traps over there. That's, that was a mistake. That was a mistake and I can't undo that mistake. It would have cost us only 22 materials to repair all those uh, traps over there. And so therefore they, they just don't, they, they don't get any, anything. So that's, that's kind of a bummer. All right. Well, we'll just have to live with that. Um, patience is gonna be over here. I think Thomas is gonna be wherever the crossbow person wants to be. Which I think they'll stay over here, so let's let's keep them over here. And I'll keep Yeah, I think these three together over here work out pretty okay. Uh Jonah. Yeah, Jonah works out well. And then we'll have um this is the spearman. Uh and this is wait, actually, no, sorry, this is the scepter person. Why huh? Oh, wait, this is Albrecht. My bad. Keep them over there. This is the scepter person. And they, they have a druid staff as well. That's the important part. Um, so yeah, we have we have scepter, druid staff over here, spearman, bowman. And then over here, we have uh, crossbowman, um, hand crossbowman, and they work well together. And um, Albrecht. I actually wonder if Albrecht wouldn't be better off over here. I don't know. Because, like, he, he's better at mass damage. These guys are better at, like, splitting people up. I think you I think you need to have a little bit of both. Yeah, because we'll, what we'll do is we'll have the, you know, our druid, like, do that first wave of damage. And then assess where we can kind of pick people off and uh and then the crossbow person can kind of clean up afterwards but i think that's gonna do it for this episode i think we're i think we're good um you know it's a it's it's a difficult town the thing i'm most worried about honestly is the boss because you know same business i have no idea what to expect i have no idea what i'm supposed to prioritize so i could very easily just lose because you know from a lack of information um but it i just have to kind of roll with the punches i guess um if you're enjoying the series definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this i'll see you guys next time take it easy